So now we're going to have a look at how to look after southern sandstone. Southern sandstone is, is a really unique rock, um, certainly in the UK. It's very, very soft rock. And similar to gritstone and other sandstones, it's got a, a quite a hard outer layer and that outer layer really protects it. Everything that we do on southern sandstone is, is looking at trying to preserve that, that hard crust so that we don't break through into the soft rock and cause a load of erosion. One of the really important things to remember when you're climbing a southern sandstone is to clean your boots. Keeping a, a bit of sand or dirt on the sole of the boot while you're climbing, obviously that's going to be bad for you because it's going to reduce your friction, but it's also going to wear the holds a lot more than if you've got a clean sole. Another point is it's really best to try and use um, rock shoes or certainly soft soled shoes. You will find uh, little grains of sand on the hold sometimes, especially if you've had some bad weather and uh, some of the sand's been washed over from the top. So you do frequently have to uh, clean the holds off. And the best way to do that is to, to bash them with a towel. If you do need to get a bit of chalk off a hold or something and you need to use a brush, you need to make sure you're using the, a really, really soft brush. This is not the place to be using even things like toothbrushes you know they're they're far too abrasive and they will wear through the rock and, and wear through that crust it's absolutely crucial on southern sandstone to to not lower off when you finish a route you really want to be topping out when you finish the route and that prevents any wear from the rope rubbing against the rock as you're you're weighting the rope and being lowered back to the ground as, as you would when you're, you're top roping on on other rock types or you know in a in a gym or anything like that what you want to do is is top out unclip the rope throw it back down so that the next climber can use it and then walk around using it a descent route. So obviously as we've said this is soft rock and uh, it is possible to sometimes break holds you know no matter how good you're being and using your best practice so sometimes you will unfortunately snap a hold. If you do that give the BMC a call, drop us an email, let us know and there's a bunch of volunteers down here who are very experienced with repairing broken holds and worn holds and we'd, we'd much rather that's done using those experienced volunteers rather than people trying to patch it up themselves. Obviously places like Harrison's are, are lovely places to come, have a picnic, have a nice day out climbing and sometimes people want to have a fire or a barbecue and we would just really say please don't do that, especially on, well, on top of the rock because that concentrated heat from a fire or a barbecue again will make the surface crust of the rock really fragile and break through it and cause a load of erosion. So. Come along, enjoy yourselves, but, but please leave the barbecues and the fires at home. So the last thing to say is, obviously there's a lot to remember here and uh, it's not always obvious about all these things. If you're a newcomer to the crag and you might see people at the crag who are, are climbing and are not adopting the best practice that we've talked about in these videos. The best thing to do and, and what we'd encourage everyone to do is to approach them in a friendly way and just explain to them why they should be doing things uh, differently. No need to be aggressive, no need to be uh, confrontational. Just go up, have a friendly chat with people, and if you, if you approach them in the right way, they're, they're likely to, to be pretty positive uh, and, and change what they're doing.